Hello and welcome into my attic. So this DIY is amazing to me because I see these floor cloths every time I go to the supermarket and I've always thought something can be done with these but I've never known what until today. So look guys what I made with these. Look how gorgeous. So this is going to be a great DIY for minimal cost of one euro fifty and the rest of the things I had in my stash already. So as you can see there are two cloths and you put one on top of the other one and then you fold them up and now we're going to stitch along this end here. This is a thicker um, cotton it's not the normal sewing cotton. I think it might be embroidery cotton. I don't even know what it is, but I know it's a thick cotton and this is a thick needle because this floor cloth is just so soft and holy that, you know, even a big needle can fit easily through it. So I used a big needle and you won't see the cotton, so don't worry about the color or anything like that. And just stitch up this, the whole of this edge. You can just sew this haphazardly. You don't need absolutely any sewing skills to do this. You won't see the stitching at all, so don't worry about that. So once I'd finished sewing up the side, um, I turned all that stitching round to the back because, you know, I don't want to see that. And then I took one of the ends, it doesn't matter which end, and I pulled up both of the cloths. Now I'm going to sew on the bottom, just sew them together as before, haphazardly. Uh, it doesn't take, you know, not even two minutes to do. Um, it's so easy. Um, yeah, just sew up the bottom and then we'll proceed with the top. If I'd wanted a longer bag, I could have just left, um, instead of pulling up the, the cloth, I could have just left it and just sewed the bottom as it was. But, you know, I wanted a shorter bag, that's why I pulled up the cloth. So before turning it onto the good side, I want to um, discard of these red lines here and I want to paint them black. So I'm just going to insert a piece of card and just dab on some black acrylic paint. So I'll be helping myself with masking tape and I'm going to do a little bit at a time and to not get black paint everywhere before I move along to the next part I'm going to dry everything off with the hair dryer. Now my red rim is now painted black, I'm going to paint the top of this stitching here because it's going, you know, it could notice, even though it's at the back, it might still notice a little bit. So rather it being red, I'd rather it be black. Okay, so that's dried off and finished. I'm going to turn it onto the good side. I'm folding it over. Now you can see the red rim is now a black rim. So now the structure of the bag is done, I'm going to do a handle. I wanted string for the handle, but I didn't have one the correct colour. Uh, the nearest colour I had to the bag was this um, ball of a wall here so I'm that's what I'm going to use so I just took three strands of wool uh, about a meter long and I tied a knot in the end
I then proceeded to add wooden beads onto the wall and on each side of the bead I tied a knot so it wouldn't move about and I did it um, all the way down the length of the wall uh, with a little bit of a gap in between. To help myself thread all the wool through the bead, I added glue onto the wool and twiddled it a little bit just to make it stiff. There's no macrame technique here, no skill whatsoever, just threading wool through a bead, that's it. <laughs> I cut six more strands of wool and I did another two um, groups of three tying them in a knot, but I didn't add the beads onto these ones. Now I'm going to take all my strands and do one big knot at the top and uh, tie them all together. Helping myself with masking tape, I'm going to stick them down onto the table so that I can plait one um, single braid. So the handle off strap is done. And I did want to uh, colour the beads, some of the beads in black, but I forgot. So I'm going to do that now before I put it on the bag. So I'm going to take a skewer stick, just put my bead through, and so I can just hold it easily. And I'm just going to take a black permanent marker and mark around the bead, just haphazardly, nothing special. It, you know, it comes how it comes. I'm using a flog <laughs> after all. So, yeah, so I'm going to do that. First, and then I'll just sew it onto the inside of the bag. Yeah, so if you would like your bag less floppy, just insert a piece of um, cardboard and you know that will just keep it a bit more rigid. Yeah, so I couldn't help myself at the last minute. I thought I'd add a clay flower to, you know, to add a bit more decoration to my bag onto the flap. So I just painted it black and then I uh, took a wet wipe and wiped away the excess of the paint. Then I just hot glued it onto the bag. So here is my cute little cloth bag and you know with the decoration you just could go on and on forever but you've just got to know when to stop sometimes you know. It's hard but you've got to do it. 